welcome back to Northern Ants Gaming. My name is Mark, and we are jumping into Pantopia. I have, I played this when it first came out, and it was actually really good. I, I've kind of been following it since I first heard about it, and it, I can't even tell how long, I can remember exactly when it came out, it's been a lot of years. Um, but then it started having a lot of problems. The, the game got really bad nothing but problems and it was years before they started working on it again and we finally got an update the other looked like yesterday so we are going to give it another try and i'm hoping it's working because this game was a ton of fun when it was it's a survival open world game uh where you're on an alien planet and there's just so many aspects of building bases and you get mechs and there's animals and resources and generators and it just there's a ton to it first time i played it i was playing multiplayer and i played with a guy named mike and we had a ton of fun building a huge base but then just everything started crashing and things weren't working correctly so we had to quit so we are going to give it another try and see what we can what we can do okay Okay, I guess we're, we start in the one of the bays. This is where you come if you want to purchase items. You have to get, get there's money and there's, so you can get credits where you can purchase different items. Like if you're not able to get something through uh, gathering resources, you can actually get credits for killing aliens that are attacking you and that goes towards your rank and it goes towards what you can what you can purchase well first things first let's get out let's get out there and start seeing what we can grab for for resources to get started here I really hope this is working again okay let's see collect what is that coal okay and I guess it used to just be uh, strictly multiplayer. We we're playing single player now. This is kind of cool where you can actually just go pick up chunks of... You don't have to actually harvest, which now this... Oh, grab. Okay, that's different. We don't, huh sandstone you don't need to use your axe you can just huh now if we use the axe what is that gonna do oh you can use the axe too I guess maybe that is quicker see and by harvesting you're actually getting higher ranks okay I'm hearing something Okay, those are those like pig thingies. I wonder if this way too we might... Okay, I know if you hit this with an axe you can actually get rid of the whole plant. This way you can harvest the... Oh, it did get rid of the whole plant. Okay. I'm wondering what the benefit between just grabbing and... Uh, it seems like you must get more rank when you use the wep the tool. Can we hit this with the tool? No. Okay, those are strictly pickups. We got to be careful because there are animals out there that can attack. Okay, let's let's go try to get one of these pig things. Because I think we might need those for food, and I think we're gonna want to wait until we have a weapon that we can fire range on that. <laughs> Let's continue gathering up some. Yeah, I guess see these little buggers are quick once you. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to have a range weapon. Felspar, iron ore. Okay, it has a lot of different per rock. And I like how it once you hit the animal, it actually shows it marked on the screen so you can track it. We gotta be careful because there are creatures out there that will not be quite so friendly. 
Yeah, if you just grab, it takes a lot longer. But it's good to, because if you look at the weapon, it has a indicator down below that shows that it's wearing, wearing out. Go get some copper ore. Well, it seems to speed up the longer you go. Huh. Now it said no loose left. Okay. So there is loose to grab out of it, and then there's also you have to hit the rest of it. So if you if your tool is broken, you can at least get some of the loose pieces that are in it. See, that's only plus one, plus one iron, plus three iron. Let's hit it with the, okay, when you use the tool, you get plus seven, plus fives, things like that. Okay, let's, I think M might be map. Yeah, okay. M is the map. Now, we have different zones. Uh, we are the blue, and then there's the red team. And your goal is to get into these zones and take these areas for your your team. The enemy team is actually AI now. It was used to be strictly other players. Try to think where I want to go to build my base. I'm thinking maybe over B8. You can set a marker. I think I'm going to head over to that. You do want to kind of stay close to the to the base. You can zoom in because there is a base right here. This is the headquarters. I like to build on the beach. Let's let's set one. Let's set a marker right there. I think we'll try building in that area. Let, let's head over that way and see what we can. What we can find. See, tab is your inventory, and you can get implants and upgrade your armor and things like that. Uh, let's see, can we eat these? Because I know you want. Oh, okay, what am I doing here? Let's put, put some of these in our hotbar and see if we can eat those. Hmm. I ate them, but my... Oh, I guess my health was already... Let's see what... Okay, that sounds kind of... I should probably get out of the... <laughs> out of the menu for right now. Oh, there's something flying around up there. Oh, it's worth 800 credits. So you can sell all these things, too. If you craft them up, then you go and sell them to that... that Outpost. That's where you can get some credits. Yeah, I like using the hatch hatchet. And you can also also get uh, auto miners, like a uh, uh, mining tools. It's so like a hand laser that you mine with, which is really nice. See, now those are those eggs that I was talking about. If you see those things right in front of it, the orange and purple. Yeah, those are things you want to avoid when you don't have a weapon to, to use to fire on them. Those things. Those are not friendly. <laughs> you want to stay clear of them. Let's take a look at our map and see where we're at. Okay, yeah, so we're, okay, we're along the shore right now. You want to go that way. There's another egg post right there, too. Let's take a look at the map again. Okay, we're up a little farther from it than I was. There's like an outcropping. Oh, it's just that little thing with the one little tree. Let's see how deep this lake is. Oh, that's some swimming animation now. Hmm. Okay. Is this a good spot to build? Or do we want to build 
by a cliff. Hmm. Be kind of nice to get built before it gets dark, though. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a location and I'll keep it back with you. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna build right here. It's kind of there's a little higher ground there, and there's some minerals spawning around here. So I think we're gonna pick here. Uh, let's see what's our build menu. Okay, crafting. If you hit tab, oh research. Oh okay. See, well, I have no research credits yet, so crafting. Okay, let's see. Let's refinery. Let's see, what do we need for setting a foundation? Okay, we need feldspar. So let's let's do eight of them. Oh, it's instantaneous. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's get a ramp. Let's get a doorway. Oh, definitely. Good thing we got the feldspar. Okay, let's get a door. Let's get a furnace. Oh, refined iron staircase. Windows. Let's uh, get a wall with windows, and let's get, uh, let's do seven without windows. I'm not sure if it's, oh, let's get, okay, we'll get another glow stick just in case, because if it gets dark, we're going to want some way to, to see. Okay, now we got all the stuff that we need. Now, how do we get, do we get it to... Okay, let's, uh, oh, okay, let's put the, we can put them in our hotbar, I think. Yeah, okay. And that way we can place all these things. It will be good to be inside, because I think you can make lights and stuff, too. Okay, let's see. See, and you can move it up and down. Okay. Should I do Oh I need one more. Get one more foundation. I'm loving the, the simplicity of the, the crafting. Okay, I'm gonna need more walls. Let's get our number four we do the platform here okay and then we're gonna put our door right in the middle okay and I then you can lock the door too so That's the password. That's more for when you're playing multiplayer, but okay, let's put the window on the back side. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more more walls. <laughs> I underestimated the the amount of walls. This will be good to get this up before the gets dark. Let's see one, two, three. We need three more walls. I guess we can do some more windows. Uh, just one more because we've already got the other spots taken up. And two more walls. Can we set this if we click on it and then hit the no, I guess not. I was just seeing if we could auto set those <clears throat> to locations. Put 
put one there. Okay, we're in close. Let's, uh, I kind of want to do a double tall because when you do single, the, the ceiling is like so close to the top of your head. So let's get another, let's get some windows because I don't want it to be too dark inside of here. We're going to do, uh, we'll start with 12 and see what, how far along that gets us. We just want to make sure that it's set the way we want it before we do set it. And see, there's a ton of stuff you can like, research for. Base core. We need copper and... Okay, yeah, see, we're going to need crafting. Yeah, see, we got to get that furnace up so we can start getting some of these other minerals to start building some of these other objects. Composite floor which I think the composite floor is going to be your your ceiling. And this I think we're only going to need eight. Okay. Three, let's get this enclosed. And number eight. This way, oh, not number eight. Eight of them. We'll be able to get, oh, there's a, I guess we could leave that as a skylight, but no, we'll, we'll take care of that in a little bit. Let's get our furnace set up so we can start crafting up some of these minerals that we've got. Now to rotate, usually it's R and T, yes it is. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the direction. Okay, smelting process. Let's coal. Let's put the coal in there. The ores. Uh, feldspar I don't want to put in there. What's this one? Sand. Oh, that's the one that we use to make. Now if we put that in, what does that start making? Nothing. Okay. We've got a diamond. And we've got... So we've got a couple of raw silver and... Now if we put this in here, is that going to craft up a silver? Diamond. Phenomenal. We're noteworthy. Okay, we're, we're going to keep those for saving. Oh, there's a base decay. So the bases gradually break down. Now if we hit, okay, so if you hit shift and left click, it puts the, puts it into your inventory. So each time it smelts something, it takes one of your coal away. So we're definitely going to need coal. Okay, let's see what we can craft now that we've got some extra. Okay, we got nail ammo. Can get another pickaxe, which I think we're going to do that because that way we do not end up using our hands to, to do all of our crafting. <laughs> Uh, let's see, nail gun, research station. Do we need more copper for that? Shield floor. Body. Okay, place the device in your base. When you die, you choose your respawn. Okay, that probably a good idea. Hover bike. Basic energy cells. Skeleton. Large bird gains six times the research credits. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I guess we'll have to find some of those birds. So, energy cells. I think I'm going to go for that. Hopefully, we have enough copper 
research. Okay, what is this for? Construction man. Okay. Manage tool. Use this tool to upgrade, repair. Okay, we definitely want that. So I'm thinking. Uh, refined oil. Okay, let's get some refined because we're going to want that light. But we need that that copper we need for other things. Right now it's a game of figuring out which which is going to be more important. Okay, let's grab these items. We still got quite a bit for our iron and copper to be processed, so we might be able to get some of these things. Yes, I still don't have any research points. Let's grab some refined oil. How many can we do? We've got quite a bit of sandstone. I don't... or oil sand. Yeah, let's just get 50 of them for right now. Oh, good, we can start building some of these things. Okay, but we want this. And we want the light. So now the light, I think we can... Let's get out of this menu. And the light... We put that on there? Okay, good. And let's see, you can get implants. Okay, let's set this up. Let's set it up on this side. So I can't tell if that's facing forward or facing away from us. See, I don't know what the back is on it. Now let's put it just like that. Okay, body. Sort of standard. Okay. So that I'm, that's where we'll respawn now if once we, if we die. Okay, let's craft one more f ceiling so we can get ourselves enclosed completely because I don't know what the birds are like. <laughs> let's grab some more minerals out of here. Okay, well, I think, okay, we'll, we'll end it right here. So, okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that like button. Comment down below what you're thinking of the game so far. And don't forget, subscribe if you have not done so. Have a great rest of your day. Well, this video has ended. But the nice thing is, is if you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, you'll get notifications when the next video comes out. Take this opportunity to go over to my homepage and check out some of my other videos. I have a wide variety of different topics. So I hope you enjoy them. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.